G'day everyone, welcome to my channel, Marty Groves. This channel mostly features farming simulator gameplay. The episode's about to kick off. I hope you enjoy the show. Please hit the like and subscribe button and feel free to leave a comment. Let's get on with the show. G'day everyone, welcome back to my copy map. It's a nice cold morning this morning, but a pretty awesome view out over the lake. Well, for you it's been a couple of days, I hope, since you saw an episode, but for me it's been about oh, three and a half weeks. Uh, a nice bit of a break. So I need to work out what I was doing and what's going on with everything. Looks like we've got a nice canola field here to harvest. And how's my shed space going? I probably need to make a bit of money and put some sheds in this episode as well, I think. Oh, what's this? It's pink. <laughs> ah, trucks. <laughs> so, a couple of people out for a bit of a joy ride. Nice wake up call first thing of the morning. Okay, let's go from one noisy machine to another. At least this one will do some good and get this field harvested. Uh, it looks like we're doing some weeds in that one too. Alright, this first. Get him on the field, get a course started. I'm thinking we should probably go round and round a few times. So that's plot 17, field 1, that we're doing. Alright, five headlands, then lots of up and down. I suppose. Oh, I do have a grain trailer. So, might jump out of this into the cedar. Wow, that's noisy. Looks like it's going pretty good. It's almost 5% just on that strip. So, what I'm going to do is oh hurry up and detach drop this off and move that grain trailer into the field because I'm pretty sure the combine will auto unload into it that way I won't crash into the trailer uh, that way I can get the Zeta going on getting the field sprayed just beside us. Uh, not quite sure where the harvester will start its second run, so I might put it right up here. We'll keep an eye on it as we spray just to make sure uh, that it does get picked up. 20% and it's nearly halfway round so we're probably going to do at least two laps of the field before it needs to empty it out anyway. Okay, back to some weed spraying. 
I'll get this unfolded and get a course made for this one. So this is on plot 16, field 1. Go around twice, then a couple of up and down look pretty good to me. It seems pretty happy. Okay, so looks like the 150's over there. Ah, oh, that's right, I bought a block of land last time. So the 150's over there, ready to plough up a bit more. I think I'm okay for grass bales at present. So I'm not going to worry about mowing and baling the field first I think we'll get it ploughed up so I'll hop over to the 150 and get it going too now there's a bit of a course outline here already so let's see if I can pick up the field So, just course play field 3 currently. We'll let it do its thing, then tidy up the course if I need to. And there's another one here on the other boundary to get ploughed up to. I don't know if I'll join these two fields or not, but we'll get them started. And have a look once they're both ploughed, potentially, we'll end up joining them up, just have to have a look and see, might need to take out a few more trees too ah uh, yes I need to press the magic Y button so I can actually create the field make sure he turns around and gets started alright Go. Also need to buy a plough because all these fields are saying they need ploughing. Don't really want to use my little like three metre one or two and a half metre one that I started with because it's going to take forever. But I am a bit limited by tractor horsepower in being able to get a bigger one. So I'll have to try and work out what to do there, but that's not a problem for right now, luckily. So it's at 96%. I'm curious if it's going to stop it and load into the trailer, or just sit there and flash and tell me that it needs to be unloaded. We shall see in a couple of percent, or a few seconds. It's about three. We should get so sixty five hundred liters. I reckon I'll get maybe three combine loads off this, which will be fairly good. And it is doing its thing all by itself. I really like cosplay when it does this. Our weed spraying in the background seems to be going on pretty good there too. Oh wow, as does the cultivating. That flew through that field. Once the weed spraying's finished, I'll use that tractor to take the canola trailer over to the mill, but the combine can unload at least once more into it. Alright, 
not too bad. It did miss a little bit, but not too much. And it's better that it does it and I pick up these little bits that it missed than spend the 20 minutes doing this and not being able to do anything else. Looks like we can expand this field a fair bit, especially if I take out those little trees just along the edge there. But for now, we'll tidy this up and get it going on the other section that's marked out. Because I think I will join up these two fields. I sort of need field capacity rather than field numbers right now. I'll tidy up the edge in a bit, but I'll do a run down here since I got rid of those trees. Not quite sure why the harvester's way off course over there, but we'll go check it out in a second. It looks like it ran into the trailer. Just run this bit down here, then you can go finish off this other so I come in the other field now anyway. Alright, lift that up. So this should very easily be in the new field. So of course play one field and yep these will join up once this is finished. That's pretty close to my plot boundary there. Yep, this won't take long at all to do. So let's go check out why this is blocked. Okay. I have no idea why it decided to crash into the trailer that's in the middle of nowhere. But while it's here, I might as well unload it. There I was praising course play and it goes and does something silly like that. Trailer's getting a bit full too, I might... I need another tractor. Or I need to make better use of the ones I've got, you know, either or. Okay. So, it looks like they go this way. Get this started down here and just say nearest waypoint. And it should keep going. It will be forever a mystery why that crashed into there. Okay, not only has the harvester finished, it didn't fully unload into the trailer, which is a bit of a bugger. Well, that field's not far off being ready either. I'm starting to think I need a bigger grain trailer as my next purchase. I'm guessing this trailer is full. Hopefully I can get it with a log grab on. Yep. So 12,000 litres of canola plus I think there's 1,800 in the harvester and a few little bits to pick up around the field. But for now I'll get him going across to the flour mill or grain mill and I'll hop in the harvester and finish up these last little bits and pieces. So I'll grab these last few pieces Then I will check on the canola field back to our right to see if it will be ready next month or not. 
because if it is going to be ready next month, I'll leave the harvester over here rather than send it back over the other side where our barley field is. I'll do the canola first and then go across and do the barley. Doing those two fields is going to leave barley any time for anything else. Yep, 19 viewers just left. Oh well. Okay, it looks like we're not even going to get a hundred litres off these little bits that were left. I was hoping to get 2,000 litres, but that's not going to happen. 1973. Alright, might jump out quick. Just run across here and have a look at this field. new roller. Ah, uh, seven of eight, so we've got two months till that's ready. That is good. So, hopefully... Okay, I just created a course play course for this guy. Set it to six meters, so it's yeah, just off. But it should run around and pick up a bit of the straw for us while we go do other stuff. We'll save a little bit of time later on, I hope. All right, back to the harvester trip. Five kilometers an hour has never felt so slow. <laughs> but we're getting there. So I'll stop this at the fuel and repair station and start a refueling, then hop across to the John Deere and get that emptied out because it's at the grain mill now. Might as well repair this guy while it's here, even though it's barely damaged. Could be a busy month coming up for it. Whew. Harvesters take a lot of fuel. This is only a tiny one. Yeah, it's still going. Wow, nearly $900 worth of fuel. <laughs> That's right, I can't use auto drive on it, which is why I had to drive it over here in the first place. So I'm going to leave it here and bring the trailer to it. Alright, try and get this unloaded without crashing into the windmill blades. Since there's no canola oil being produced, it's out of canola. It's only got a 27,000 litre capacity. But between this field and the other big one in a couple of months, hopefully it'll go close to getting filled up again. So it can make some nice expensive canola oil. So once this is unloaded, we'll zip across to the store and finish unloading the combine. So it's only this barley field next month that we need to do as well. Which is good, because there's probably a fair bit of logging that I need to do between picking up logs and clearing out space around fields get this guy unloaded and 
and I sent him off to our silage pit, or where the silage pit used to be. And this one will send off back to the green mill. As I thought, there wasn't all that much more to do, so let's get some of this tidied up a bit. Seems to be plenty of work to do right now. Alright, spin around so I can see where I'm going. Okay, drop off the trailer. Send him back to, I think, there. Still need to soil sample these two fields but I'll do that once I get these logs moved out of the way. Back in. Oh, it's starting to rain which is probably good timing that I got the harvesting done early. Logs chucked on quick. sure that's right on my boundary so we'll just have a quick check yeah that's near enough to the boundary that I'm not going to try and push it across any further I will however delete that field and delete that field that ended up being a pretty big field in the end so lift this up, fold it, and what we'll do is run around this field outline really quick. Just so we have a custom field defined for this field too. I'm a little bit curious about how big the field is. our rough outline done. That 
That's good there. Must have here too, yes. And jump back in here. That looks like that's plot 15, so this is going to be... There we go. So 1.5 hectares, that's one of our bigger fields. Okay. So canola for this field. And our truck eventually cut over to the sawmill. The trip over was just a little bit airy. Uh, this one looks like it's going good, so I'm going to jump over because we have the John Deere plus the truck waiting at the sawmill ready to have the wood sold. The John Deere took forever to get here. Uh, these logs are crazy heavy. So nearly four grand worth of wood there. Uh, I did want to sell these separately because I'm curious how much our truckload of wood is actually worth. Now, I had to drive this over myself because every time I put it on a worker it would lift up these back wheels which because the truck is so overloaded meant the front wheels lifted up off the ground and it didn't go anywhere. Alright, get this into the trigger. So there's a lot of wood on there. I'm going to say it's probably worth about eight grand. Damn. 13, 14, 15 thousand dollars. Wow, that was a lot of wood. Okay, and he can head back over to the parking spot too. So the old time shed pack, I also want to drop this one in when I get more money too, but for now we're going with the big wooden garage. And I'll make sure I turn it around the right way. All right. So I want it over there as far as I can go. Perfect. That other shed will go up the side of it. Benefit of the other shed is it's got a workshop inbuilt into it too. So this has stacks of room. I'll be able to get the harvester in here, or a big harvester if I ever get around to getting a big one. And it's sort of got brick, it's cement and wood. 
which is pretty close, but I like this. I'll be able to fit a whole heap of equipment in here without a problem. Now, the next thing we need to do, I'm guessing, uh, is put some lime on this field. Oh yeah, pH bad. It's only a couple of passes, which is nice. So we'll get it started, and I'll go <laughs> find what happened to the John Deere. I'm pretty sure it's sitting over at the sawmill waiting for me to uh, unload it.
Okay, let's get this last little bit picked up. And I think we're done. So I did have to... Oop. So, which did I miss? The V for Brawl or the V for Drop It? V to Drop It. Okay. Let's grab this last little section. Around the edges that were missed. So I'm going to roll these three fields, the one we harvested plus these two new ones. But I'll just get that done off camera because this episode is definitely long enough as it is. It's taken a long time, but all we seem to have done is harvest a field and replant it put line down on the field as you can see in the distance there. Uh, created two new fields and got them planted and done a few loads of logs. Now it's amazing how long it takes to get everything done. Alright, uh, around these corners where the worker missed. I did think this canola field beside us would be ready next month, but it's at least two months away and I'm very happy about that because there's a lot of planks to load and I think I have to spawn ten pallets, nine or ten pallets of furniture in each sawmill as well and get them loaded up. So I'm going to do a lot of that before I start recording the next episode since it's going to take a while to get them all loaded. But we'll have a nice big selling spree at some stage in that episode. Then we'll go on a really, really big spending spree. So that's it for this episode, I'm just going to drop this over in our brand new shed while I ramble on for another couple of minutes. Uh, 23,000 just isn't enough to get the other shed I want, so it looks like that'll be done next episode as well. Uh, what else happened this episode? I didn't need to feed any animals. I did drop trailers in various spots ready to get loaded up. I need to put a dirt path in here too, just so it looks a bit better than having it plain grass. We'll swing this around and crash into the wall. No, we won't. Okay, looks like a pretty good spot for it then. I'll slowly move all those bags of seed and fertilizer in, although I need to separate <laughs> the fertilizer and lime, otherwise the spreader seems to prioritize the fertilizer over the lime bags every time, which is just a touch annoying. Ah, our sheep are doing well, I was thinking about taking the partially full milk pail over but I think I'll let that fill up because it should be full for next month. I wonder if four will do it better. Yep, four round and round and then a pass through the middle. This roller was a fantastic purchase. It's more than double the size of the old one, so it'll fly through these fields without a problem. Uh, I'm just going to finish these off camera, because all we're doing is rolling now and we're done for the day. Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed it. Drop us a comment if I've missed out on something, or you'd like to see me do something else. In the next month or two we're going to start our donut productions which means finishing all the sugar beet and then the sugar mill work as well so that's definitely something I'm looking forward to I will catch you all in the next episode oh I 
forgot about the John Deere. Let's just sell these and see what they're worth. Alright, 7,000. There were some really big locks in there. Okay, this time it's really bye. Catch you all. Welcome back everyone, it looks like we've reached the end of another episode. I hope you enjoyed the show, please hit the like button, subscribe and feel free to leave a comment if I've done something or you think I should try or do something else. I hope to see you all again in the next episode. Back in my box. What's this? Bonus content? You have to be kidding. But no, we're serious. Have you... <laughs> ever wondered what a monster truck sounds like? It's awesome. Half one. Let's fair for it. Alright, be quiet, you're really loud. So, if you ever wondered what happens with all those drive bys, they either start from up here and head down to probably the store, or I start them at the store and they drive all the way up here. Of course, since they sit around for a while, we've got to have a bit of a picnic area. A few tables, undercover, barbie. A nice big shed if they want to get their stuff out of the way. Why do I bother with all of this stuff if all I do is sell them straight away? I just thought it looked pretty cool. <laughs> it's a nice little picnic area and I'm not sure... If I'll ever buy this plot of land or not. Probably depends how long the series goes for. But it's not that great of a plot. Because it's mostly covered by these rocks. Uh, however, there is some really nice flat land out there. So, depending on how long we go for. Potentially I might end up having all of this. For now, I've got no intention of buying it, it's just a nice spot for these vehicles to come. Alright, hope you enjoyed the little look behind the scenes. I'll catch you all in the next episode.